Hello, this is another series of showing you how you can extend Tilt Audio capabilities with a new Lua function, Lua scripting capabilities. What I did today is I connected an Arduino Pro Mini, which you can see here, uh, to my test installation for Tilt Audio. It is connected via the I2C uh, bus, two wire bus, to the Raspberry Pi over here. The Raspberry Pi is running latest Tilt Audio version 1.30 RC1 and then there is a small uh, sketch, Arduino sketch running on that Arduino Pro Mini that again then connects these two uh, rings with RGB LEDs, play, uh, LEDs, uh, LEDs placed on it. It's using FastLED, one of the famous libraries for doing Arduino stuff with such RGB LEDs. And I will show you what you can do now. So, first I defined a, for a small uh, library uh, that gives me some additional functions uh, as an in in it a Lua file. So this is set color for ring and set brightness. That sends out uh, an I 2 C command, which you can see here. And on the other, you know, I programmed a small um, sketch, which I will put under the video that uses the FastLED library and handles those commands, set color, set brightness and switches the rings. And if you put all these together, you can easily control such rings from your Tilt Audio installation. When you see what I do here, I have a command set color for ring uh, zero, which is one of these two rings, and I, now I can just input a color. And when I do that, you see one of the rings is um, then shining red. I can change it to blue or green, and of course, I can also um, let the other ring also shine green, yellow, essentially every color you like, all based on what you have um, on logic in your Arduino script. I can also change uh, the brightness, which is also a functionality of uh, FastLED. So now these are much brighter or lower and I can also um, switch them off again. Set color for ring was the command. This will switch one of these rings off and the other. So what you have seen is full control via two simple functions, uh, Lua functions, uh, that allows you to control uh, light when you're doing sounds. So now this is also only run in um, the testing mode. But as shown last time, you can simply, of course, copy this uh, command, set color for ring, and put it into your sound configuration. So if you have a, a sound configuration, like, uh, let's say, this is a, uh, this time the Frankenstein, Frankenstein sound set. So I can put red light um, 
on one of these rings on the whoosh sound. So just test it. Now it gets red. And the spinner sound will make it uh, blue. So let's test the spinner sound. And it turns blue. So when this is then running in the machine, it really acts like this. So let's say you're in the intro and then there's one sound gets red, the other sound gets blue. And maybe for a, a third sound lightning it could also, uh, I could also make it flash or something else. This is basically only dependent on what you are doing in your Arduino sketch. You can make the Arduino sketch play uh, fading lights or flashing lights, whatever you like, uh, and then controlled via the I2C bus from the Tilde Audio uh, control panel. I hope this gives you some inspiration of what the potential is here and this is really just one example where you can enhance uh, your pinball machine um, based on tilt audio and additional light effects. Thanks for watching.